everyone and welcome back to art. Today we are going to be creating a chameleon. So let's get our supplies and get creative. All right, boys and girls, once you have all your supplies, paper, pencil, eraser, and colors, we are ready to get started and we are going to be making a chameleon today. So it's a lot of simple shapes and patterns. So let's go ahead and get started. Our first thing we're going to do is have our paper going landscape, all right, because our chameleon's gonna be long. And we're going to first draw the branch that our chameleon is going to stand on. So this is gonna tell us where we're gonna have it. So we're not gonna place the branch directly in the middle of our paper. It's gonna be just a little bit lower. So we're gonna draw two horizontal lines. So one, and two horizontal lines for our branch. Then we're going to start making the body and head of our chameleon. So the body of our chameleon is above our branch, okay? So we're not gonna put it on the branch. So leave a little room. And what we're going to do is we're gonna draw a horizontal line. Then we're going to draw a curved line and a vertical line to connect. For, so that's for the body. For our head, we're going to draw a vertical line going off of the body. So starting here, we're gonna just draw a short vertical line going up, then horizontal line going out, and a curves line to connect, all right? So it kind of looks like parts of the circle that are just taken apart and put together in different ways. Now let's do our chameleon's feet. They're just curved lines, and then we're going over our branch. So we're just gonna draw a curved line and a curved line. Now we have our chameleon's feet, but the branch is still showing through. So what do we need to do? We need to erase those little branch lines inside of our chameleon's feet, because we don't need that, because the chameleon is on top of the branch not the branch on top of the chameleon. Now let's do our chameleon's tail. So it's just curved line and a curved line. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So starting here at the point, we're gonna draw a curves line. And then right here above, we're gonna draw another curves line. We're gonna keep going around, it's a little skinny. And we're gonna draw a curved line and we're gonna curve it to connect. Now we still have that branch line inside of our chameleon's tail, so we need to erase that because the tail is over the branch. All right, now let's draw our chameleon's eye. So to do that, chameleons have really large eyes, so we're gonna draw a big circle here. And you guys can draw your eye however you want. I'm going to just draw it or a circle and then a little circle inside for the highlight. So as you can see here in my completed picture, I have, this will be black and then I'm gonna leave a little white space there. Now let's do our tongue. So it's just, chameleons have long tongues, so we're just gonna do a spiral line coming out. So here, we're just gonna draw a big spiral line. Awesome. Now, let's add, because chameleons are very colorful creatures, because they can camouflage themselves in any environment that they're in. We're going to just make some stripes on the body and the tail of our chameleon. You guys can make as few or as many stripes as you want. You can make them as skinny or as thick as you want. It's up to you. And then when you get to the tail, it's not gonna be straight lines. We're gonna just do curved lines instead to help show that the tail is rounded. And again, as few or as many as you want, okay? Now, let's add some details to our branch. So we're gonna just add some maybe little wiggly lines and do kind of like a spiral line in different places, um, just to show the bark of our branch. Then let's add some leaves coming off of it. So curves line, Curves line, curves line, curves line. Oh, my leaf is coming off the page. That's totally fine. 
and then curved line, curved line. You can see how these are different and that's totally fine. And we're just gonna draw a leaf coming out on this edge of our paper. So curved line, curved line. Then we're gonna do a line in the middle of each of these leaves to show the veins on them. Now let's do a sun, because uh, it's gonna be a nice, bright, sunny day. If you don't wanna do a sun, you don't have to. It could be nighttime if you want it to be that way. It's up to you. But the only thing I ask is please, boys and girls, don't put a sun where it curves around in the corner like this, because everyone does that, and I know you guys can do better than that. It also cuts your paper off and makes it look a lot smaller. So make a full sun or a full moon, you can do stars, whatever, but just no shapes in the corners, okay? Because it cuts your paper off and makes it look smaller. So I'm going to do a, oh, you know what? I'm going to do a moon because I like that. I did a sun one. I'm going to do a moon one. So I'm going to do a crescent moon. So I'm going to do a curved line there and then a curved line here. I can make um, some stars. My These stars are going to be far away and twinkling. Do some down here as well. Okay. Now, when you are finished drawing your chameleon, it is time to start coloring it. You guys can use anything that you want to color this with. Um, I have markers and I have watercolors. So I'm going to use those two things today to decorate my, pic my picture. You guys, again, can use whatever you'd like. I'm going to complete mine and show you what how mine turns out. In this week's assignment, I'm looking for a chameleon. It needs to have lots of colors and lots of details. You guys can use any sort of coloring material you want. You can turn this in as a picture or as a short video. All right, boys and girls, this is the end of my video. I had so much fun creating a cute chameleon with y'all. I can't wait to see how y'all's turns out. See you next time.